Hi everyone, welcome back. I feel like I haven't done a video in a little while now. I may or may not have choked water all over my MacBook Air and I really rely on that thing. But I do have a video today. I'm going to be doing a review and demonstration of the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. Now you may or may not have heard of this product. It's either a concealer or a foundation depending on how you apply it. So I'm sure that many of you out there are looking at this tiny pot and thinking how on earth could that constitute a foundation? Like I'll be purchasing that every month. No. I should preface this review with one statement. This will be quite possibly the most pigmented base product that you ever encounter. You need like a pinhead sized amount to conceal a blemish or a few rice grains worth to create a completely flawless foundation base. So it is really, really pigmented, but it's not limited to, you know, high coverage application. You can shear it out to almost nothing. Now I've made this sound like God's gift to man. Some people will love this and some will hate it. And that's the purpose of this review to make that distinction. So I'm going to chat now about the details and the specifics about the product. But if you're more interested in the demonstration, I'm going to try to pop a little bubble here and let you know what time frame I perform that demonstration. You can fast forward at your own leisure. Right, so let's talk about some initial things that you might notice about this product. Yes, it's a very small pot. It is 18 grams. And the product inside is a thick, creamy consistency. So if I tip it upside down, it's not going anywhere. Now, despite the fact that it's thick, it's not waxy like a lip balm or some other pot style concealers you may have tried. Now, shade wise, the shades range from SX01, which is quite pale, it's a NC10 or so, all the way to SX16, which is quite deep, it's a chocolatey shade. Now, between these two extremes, we have a variety of depths, obviously, we would hope so, and also a variety of tones, undertones, so neutral, warm, cool, even olive, which is fantastic. Now, if you're looking to find a match to the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer, I'm going to be posting a rough guideline on my blog. Now, I stress rough guideline, please don't rush out and purchase, you know, based on that information. It was a chart that I derived from talking to lots of people and reading lots of reviews, but there is always some room for human error and other discrepancies. So do your research, Google, and uh, contact me if you're really struggling. I will try to push you in the right direction. Right, let's talk about application. If you're planning to use this product as a concealer, which is my preferred method, this is my holy grail concealer, I went there, then I prefer to take something like a fine tip brush, so perhaps an eyeliner brush, and picking up a pinhead's worth of product, dab onto the blemish and blend with a warm finger. In terms of under eye concealing, I don't like the Kevin Aquan for that purpose. I feel as though it always looks a bit heavy and sometimes cakey. Um, and if you have any fine lines around your eyes, I think that this will really emphasize it. That being said, lots of people do use this around the eyes and love it. So your mileage may vary on that point. If you plan on using this as a foundation, there are a few ways you can go about it. You can take a saturated beauty blender and again, picking up a very small amount of product, slowly build coverage onto the skin. Now, if you prefer tools such as paddle brushes, stippling brushes, then I would strongly recommend mixing this product with something else. So maybe your favorite moisturizer or a primer that suits your skin type or even an illuminating product. Now, the reason I make this suggestion is the Kevin Aquan doesn't have much slip alone. So if you mix it with something else, you'll find that it maneuvers 
much better on the skin and it spreads easily and you'll have a much nicer finish. So who is this product ideal for? Number one, I'd say makeup artists. I think the versatility of this product would make a great addition to any kit. If you have skin prone to flakiness, I would really hesitate to recommend this to you because it's so densely pigmented, it has the tendency to catch on flakes and emphasize that sort of texture. So if you mix this with an emollient moisturizer, you might have a different experience. It's hard to say. If you have dry skin, I'd say mix this with an illuminating product to uh, you know, stop it from looking too flat. But otherwise, I think it would mesh well with dry skin types. If you have oily skin, um, mix this with a matte primer. I think that that would really enhance the longevity and the finish on your skin. Now, if you have acne prone skin, this product does have jojoba oil in it. Now, I'm not insinuating that oils are, you know, catastrophic on all acne prone skin types, but it is worth a mention. It's not oil free, so read your ingredient list. Finally, if you are a slap and dash kind of person, you know, you want a five minute face, you know, rub it on and leave the house, this product is going to really frustrate you. It requires a little bit more effort blending, a little bit more time mixing, and it's not a five minute face sort of product. So maybe more of a special event thing for people like that. Okay, so a quick overview of everything I've said. The Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer is really what you make it. The coverage can range from super high coverage to quite sheer, depending on how you mix it. It can be, you know, dewy finish or it can have a matte finish, depending on what you mix it with. So it's quite hard to talk about those points. However, if you're using this product alone, the coverage is like, wow, like really high and the finish is about satin. So I hope that, you know, I've covered all the points. If I haven't, let me know in the comment section below. Let's go straight to the demonstration. For the purpose of today's demonstration, I have my beautiful best friend, Elena. Hi. Now, prior to filming, I primed and moisturized Elena's skin with the Ombre Elise Lay Cream Concentrate. And we also spoke about color. Could you quickly describe your shade? I'm an NC30 in MAC terms. In MAC terminology, yeah. Um, generally, sometimes I'm a little bit darker. Okay, and your skin type, briefly? I'm combination. I tend to be a little bit oily around my nose. Fantastic. So today I'll be using the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in 6. And this is about an NC25 to NC30 in MAC terminology and it has quite a strong yellow undertone. We're going to start off by using this product as a foundation. So I'm using a Q-tip to dispense a little bit of product on the back of my hand. I'm mainly using this for hygiene purposes since it's a pot. And I'm not going to mix with anything today. I'm just going to go straight ahead with the Beauty Blender and get cracking. So I'm picking up a little bit of product on my Beauty Blender which is very saturated right now. And I'm going to start building coverage on Eleanor's skin. So I'm using a dabbing and rolling motion. This is pretty standard practice with the Beauty Blender, but it's also a helpful hint when using this product as it helps blend the product and also melt it into the skin. So I've started off really slow. You can always go back in for more. With this product, it's really about thin layers and building coverage as opposed to, you know, starting with a lot of product. Next, we're going to use this product as a pinpoint concealer. So I'm not using it underneath the eyes. As I said earlier, I'm not a huge fan of the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer for that purpose, but I do love it for pinpoint concealing. So the brush that I'm using is the Chanel number no. 24. And I believe this is actually an eyeshadow brush. It's very fine and also very soft. So fantastic for minor imperfections. So I'm going to take a very small amount of product on this brush, like literally a little bit of residue is all that you'll require. 
using a dotting and scribbling motion and placing that onto any marks you can go ahead and blend that a little bit more with a warm finger That completes our Kevin O'Quan Sensual Skin Enhancer demonstration. I am now going to pass the mirror to Eleanor and we'll see what she thinks of the final look. I like the finish. I've noticed that a lot of the redness that's usually around my nose is gone. Mm -hmm. A few spots as well that I have, it's covered really well. And I've used I've used high coverage foundations in the past. Yep. A lot of the time they can look really cakey. Whereas with this one I can barely notice that it's there. So you I'm like really the happy finish. with it. You it's like the good. finish? Oh wonderful. Thank you very much for coming in, Eleanor. We'll see you guys <laughs> next time. Bye bye. Bye. Um how does this compare to your little Wayne videos? <laughs> I mean there's less shaking of the ass. <laughs> <laughs> but it should be fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so now we're going to pass the mirror on to Adrian and we'll see what he thinks about, you know, the coverage and the finish of the foundation. Oh my god, I love it! You like it? <laughs> Do you have a special message for the people watching your video today? Um, subscribe to Karima's channel.